Uh, very good evening, students. Very good evening, M Minu, Danish, and everyone, those of you who have just joined. Uh, any volunteer, please confirm about the voice and the video. Uh, very good evening, uh, Shubhi, Aditi. Any volunteer, please confirm about the voice and the video. I hope everything is uh, correct and from my end. Okay. Thank you very much, Danish and Meenu, for clarifying that. On that note, let's begin with this class. So, first of all, I welcome each one of you to my class on the Indian Penal Code 1860. Let's start with my brief introduction first. Those of you who don't know my name, uh, it's Sandeep Khatri and these are my areas of specialization, the constitutional law, criminal law, commercial law, family law, jurisprudence and law of thoughts. These are uh, my areas of specialization. Uh, here is the link of my profile uh, on an academy. So make sure you follow that to get all the updates about my special classes and my plus courses. Uh, here is the link of my telegram channel where you can connect with me, where you can ask your questions and queries related to your judicial preparation. At last, I have mentioned my code Khatri10, which you can use to get free access of all the special classes available on an academy app. So this was about me. I request everyone, please be attentive and this is going to be interactive session. So today we are going to do some MCQs, MCQs from section uh, 299 till section 511 of uh, IPC. So before starting the test, if you have any questions, you may ask. If not, then quickly give me a thumbs up. I'll straight away start with the MCQ questions. Yes, please. Uh, very good evening, Amit, Anil. Anyone having any questions even before starting the MCQ test? And if not, quickly give me a thumbs up. I'll start the test. Okay, I've got the thumbs up, which means no questions at all. So on that note, let's start with the test. Please close your bare act notes, everything, all eyes on the screen. And here comes your first question. Which of the following is an offense? Which of the following is an offense? Waiting for your answer in the comments. This should not take this much of time. Okay, Aditi first one to answer correctly. Aditi followed by Kanchan and go green. Yes, the answer is correct. That is D. All of the above are the offenses. Okay, ji? Culpable homicide amounting to murder. We are talking about section 300. That is murder. It's an offense. Culpable homicide not amounting to murder. It's talking about culpable homicide, which is basically section 299. It's again an offense. And culpable homicide is again an offense. So the answer is all of the above. Next one. Uh, very good evening, Nisha and everyone. Those of you who have just joined. How many circumstances has been enumerated under section 300 of IPC under which culpable homicide is murder? First one to answer correctly, Sumit followed by Kanchan and Ravi. Okay, everyone's answer is either B or 4. Yes, everyone's answer is correct. So the answer is B, that, that is 4. So basically the question was, uh, in case if any one of you uh, have not understood, the question was very, very simple. Ki when it comes to culpable homicide is murder. How many circumstances are there? So there is 300 clause 1, 
clause 2, clause 3 and clause 4. So the answer is B. Moving to the next one. A fires on crowd with no reason. With no reason. As a result, B dies. What offense has A committed? Choose the most appropriate option. First one to answer correctly should be followed by Amit and Go Green. Okay. So I can see there is a confusion on this one. Some of the students have written A, but most of the students has answered C. I don't think anyone else has chosen any other option. So yes. So the correct answer here is murder. Now coming to the reasoning part. Why, why murder and why not culpable homicide? See, if a person is, you know, firing on crowd, so there is a simple circumstances. This is a case of section 300 clause one, which means there is an intention that he wants to, uh, he wants to kill someone. So as a result, Mr. B died. And this is because uh, it's a case of murder. It's as simple as that. Now I have one more counter question for each one of you. That is, uh, what is the importance of motive when it comes to the offense of murder? Whether motive is an important essential under section 300, Yes, please. Yes, Aditi and Shubhi. That may fall under section 300 clause 2 as well. 300 clause 4 as well. Okay, Ravi has answered yes. Okay, Nisha, yes. Okay, I am repeating myself and I am, please, I am expecting the reasons as well for your answer whatever your answer is yes or no my question to you is whether the concept of motive is relevant when it comes to the offense of murder yes or no and the reasons associated to that okay let me read your answers now uh, First one to answer correctly, Kumar Saurabh, followed by Tariq Khan and Sagar. Yes, no is the correct answer, students. When it comes to motive, motive is not material uh, ingredient. Motive is completely irrelevant when it comes to offenses like murder. Or when we talk about in general as well, whether motive is relevant in uh, IPC, the answer is no. The concept of motive comes under the uh, section number 8 of Indian Evidence Act. So when it comes to IPC, it has no importance. Now coming to one more step ahead, that is why not, why motive is not relevant. See, if A killed B, we are moreover interested in whether Mr. B killed B or not, whether he has committed the offense of murder or not. The reasoning behind that offense, we are not concerned with that. Okay, ji. So the answer is murder, and I hope now everyone is clear with this one. Yes, intention are important. Intention is important. Chal next. Answer this one. Okay, Aditi, uh, let me complete question number four and after that I'll answer your question. That is what is the difference between intention and a motive? Okay, so just wait. Once we are done with this one, I'll move to that. Okay, let me see. Uh, first one to answer correctly, Tariq Khan followed by Kumar, Saurabh and Go Green. Yes, C is the correct answer. Everyone has answered correctly. In this question, there is Mr. A who because of the provocation by B kills C. That is B's child. 
A can be charged for murder. The answer is murder. Okay. Now I am changing this question a bit. What if in the same question, what if Mr. A killed B? If Mr. A killed Mr. B, now you tell me what 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 is going to be the correct answer in that situation? A, B, C, or D? Yes, please. ओके बहुत बढ़िया वंडरफुल फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर करेक्टली सुमित फॉलोड बाय अमित एंड तारिक इन दैट केस दैट विल द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी नॉट मर्डर बट यू कैन नॉट से नो ऑफेंस एज वेल बिकॉज दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द केस ऑफ कल्पेबल होमोसाइड यस कल्पेबल होमोसाइड नॉट अमाउंटिंग टू मर्डर Yes, B is the correct answer. Now I am explaining one concept here. I have got one question. Uh, listen this carefully. See, students, there are some terms which are going to be used again and again. So, what is the difference between intention and motive? Intention is something which is the desire of your mind. For example, if you are in this class right now, if you are attending this class right now, what is your intention? Your intention is that you want to practice. You know how much how much do you know about IPC? How much how, how many questions you can easily solve, right? So that is your intention, and that is why you are sitting in this class. So the intention is basically the desire of your mind. Now intentions may be good as well, which we call good faith, and intentions may be bad as well, which we call your mensria the guilty mind now coming to motive what is motive motive is the reason behind the crime so for example if someone has committed murder so why that person has committed that murder what is the reason behind that so the, the reason may be there is any uh, dispute between the parties in relation to any immovable property there was a land dispute or there was any family feud between those uh, those families that is why he has committed the murder so motive is basically the reason behind the crime and when it comes to ipc it is something which is immaterial right so i hope now the difference is clear on that note moving to the next question intention of causing death is not essential under section 300 clause so here basically we are talking about the clause intention of causing death is not essential uh, top 3 students to answer correctly should be followed by tarek and ravi yes d is the correct answer nisha and kumar please do correct yourself Uh, the question is about intention of causing death is not essential not essential we are talking about right so if you have answered this first if you have answered this first it means you have missed this one not okay so the correct answer is fourthly because in fourthly it comes to more of a knowledge next one A person who causes bodily injury to another who is laboring under the disorder, disease, or bodily infirmity, and thereby accelerates the death of the other, shall be deemed to have caused his death under. First answer this one. This is very pretty much a direct question, but I have very interesting question in relation to this one. So first you answer this, and then I'll counter question one more. just a second i'm confirming something uh tarik khan please go through with section 300 thirdly and you will find there if it is done with intention so the term intention has been used in section 300 clause 3 that okay i have got the answer 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ओके दिस इज बेसिकली निशा फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर करेक्टली फॉलोड बाय फॉलोड बाय शुभी एंड गोगरी सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज एक्सप्लेनेशन वन ऑफ सेक्शन टू नाइनटी नाइन सो दिस इज प्रिटी मच डायरेक्ट बट आई हैव वन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फॉर ईच वन ऑफ यू एंड प्लीज डू आंसर दिस केयरफुली my question is my question is if your case falls under if your case falls under section 299 explanation 1 then the person the accused will get the punishment of culpable homicide or murder if you can answer this i can assure you your concept is completely clear i am repeating myself if your case if the facts of the case falls under section 299 explanation 1 now my question to you is the accused will get the punishment of culpable homicide or murder yes please now i am waiting for your answer in the comments Okay, first one to answer. Uh, Aditi, murder, culpable homicide. Shubhi, Sumit, culpable homicide. Amit, okay, done, 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 done. Culpable homicide. Come on, I, I can at least expect one correct answer. Anji, it's not that easy. Culpable homicide is in the majority, but there are some students who have written murder as well. Everyone, please do participate. The question is very, very simple. If your case, the facts of the case falls under section two ninety nine explanation one, the accused will get the punishment of culpable homicide or the murder. Okay. चलिए नाउ लेट मी आंसर लेट मी आंसर एंड नाउ लिसन केयरफुली सी फर्स्ट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन सो एक्सप्लेनेशन इज बेसिकली यू नो व्हाई व्हाई द फर्स्ट लॉ कम द मेंबर्स ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ कमीशन एडेड एक्सप्लेनेशन अंडर सेक्शन 299 द रीजन इज बिकॉज़ देयर माइट बी सरकमस्टांसेस दैट यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सम थिंग्स right and that is why the concept of explanation has been added now what is explanation actually saying to you theek hai ji that so explanations section 299 explanation 1 the conclusion the conclusion of section 299 explanation 1 is that if your case falls under this section 299 explanation 1 then we can say that it was the accused who caused the death this is the only conclusion this is the only conclusion you will get after reading section 299 explanation 1 that the accused is the person who is responsible who is responsible who is who has basically caused the death of the victim now it means it has nothing to do with culpable homicide or murder it has nothing to do with culpable homicide or murder now let me read it for you who causes bodily injury to another which means there is person mr a and he has caused some bodily injury to another person who is laboring under a disorder and that person the victim has already some pain disease or bodily infirmity and thereby accelerates the death and because of that bodily injury because of this bodily injury that bodily injury accelerates the death of the other shall be deemed shall be deemed mana jayega to have caused his death so the conclusion here is he will caused his death that's it nothing more than that so just because of explanation 1 you cannot answer this question sir whether this is a case of culpable homicide or murder the only conclusion is that particular person has caused his death that's it nothing more than that i hope everyone is clear with this question number 6 
May I move to the next one? And if you still have any doubts, please feel free to write your questions here in case if you have. And if not, quickly give me a thumbs up. I'll move to the next one. Okay, Aditi has one doubt. Okay, Tarik, what to select in pre? Okay. Nahi Shubhi. No, 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 no. Okay. But just because I have got some questions, so now let me explain this. Let me take some example. Let me take some example. Let me take some example. Okay. Suppose this is Mr. A and this is Mr. B. Okay. So Mr. A has a gun in his hand. Okay. Now this Mr. A aim and then shoot Mr. B. Okay. Mr. A had a gun. He aim and shoot Mr. B. And because of this, Mr. B died. Now the question is, now the question is, who caused the death of B? Now the question is, who caused the death of B? This is the factor which you need to focus on. Who caused the death of B? Now the answer here is, now the answer here is, can I say A? caused the death of B because A is the one who had the gun who aimed and shoot that was not an accident it is completely Mr. A who caused the death now just because he caused the death now coming to the second factor question number two sir this will fall under culpable homicide or this is a case of murder now for culpable homicide, it should be 299, 2 or 3. By the way, there is no 299, 2 or 3. But you know, just to make students understand, we you know usually call that. Okay? And when it comes to murder, it is 301 se leke 4 tak. Now, if I look into this situation, if, if these two factors, now listen this carefully. If there is no death, if there is no death, and if there is no cause, let's take an example. Mr. A aimed and shoot Mr. B. But because of the good luck, Mr. B still survived, which means death has not taken place. Can I say this is a case of culpable homicide or murder? The answer is very simple. No, sir. That will not be a case of culpable homicide or murder. That may be, uh, that, that, that will fall under the attempt one. Now coming to the second question. Sir, what if there is no cause? Which means B died because of the heart attack. Now, can you punish Mr. A or any other person? If Mr. B died because of heart attack, that is a natural death. And in that case, no one will get the punishment. So, which means when it comes to the offenses like culpable homicide or murder, the first two ingredients which are very, very important, that is the term cause and the second one is death. Fine. Now, coming to who causes the death. This example was very, very simple. So, the answer was Mr. A has caused the death. But suppose, now if I change this situation, Mr. A just mr a just punch mr b on his head and mr b had already brain tumor and because of that punch the pain accelerates and the death occurs now the question is mr b died because of the brain tumor or because of that punch now the answer lies in section 299 explanation 1 which clarifies key that c who caused the death of B? It was Mr. A. Why? Where it is written that Mr. A caused the death? Read explanation 1 of section 299. Now coming to, sir, then what will be, it is a case of culpable homicide or murder? Culpable homicide or murder? If it is a case of a punch, if in my second example, if it is a case of a punch, that will fall under section 299 clause 2. Intention for bodily injury, which is likely to cause death. But if in example two, if he has a he, if he had a gun, he aimed and he shoot and B died, that will fall under section 301. This is a case of murder. So section 299 explanation one just tell you whether that particular person caused the death or not. It is a case of culpable homicide or murder. For that you have to see that uh, 
of which particular offense the essentials has been completed. I hope now it is clear. थोड़ा सा नेक्स्ट लेवल है यूजुअली वी डोंट रीड लाइक बेयर एक्स लाइक दिस बट दिस इज द राइट वे टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट आई नो यू मे हैव रेड आई पी सी मेनी टाइम्स बट नॉट लाइक दिस मै मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन Okay, got it. Then let's move to the next one. Next one, answer please. Mr. X shoots Mr. Y with intention to kill him. Mr. Y dies after reaching to hospital. Mr. X has committed the offense of. top 3 students to answer correctly arun followed by shubhi and aditi yes b is the correct answer students that is complete case of culpable homicide amounting to murder direct question doctrine of transfer of malice under section which section we are talking about Uh, top three students to answer correctly: uh, Arun, followed by Amit and Go Green. Yes, C is the correct answer. Everyone's answer is correct. Direct question. I don't think this needs any explanation. K M Nanavati versus State of Maharashtra is a leading case on. Okay, top three students to answer correctly. Uh, Anil followed by Amit and Meenu. Okay, C is the correct answer. Yes, grave and sudden provocation. Okay, uh, you tell me if you uh, you tell me if you are writing an answer on right to private defence. whether you can mention km nanavati versus state of maharashtra or not yes please if you are writing an answer in your mains examination on right to private defense whether km nanavati may be included in that first one to answer correctly arun go green no sir ravi yes See, uh, K M Nanavati has also raised that it is a case of right to private defence. In actually, that was not, but he raised that. So you may write that in your right of private defence as well. Okay. I think famous case, landmark case. There is a movie as well on this, so you should know the facts. Next, the plea of sudden and grave provocation under section three hundred, exception one, is a. choose the most appropriate option yes there was time gap it was not not sudden Uh, top three students to answer correctly of question number ten, Amit followed by Shubhi and Arun. Yes, C is the correct answer. Everyone has answered correctly. Yes, C. That is a question of fact. So whether whether it's a case of sudden and grave provocation only only by going through the facts of the case you can answer that. 
A gave poison halwa to B with the intention to kill him. B ate one spoon and kept it on the side. C who was sitting there picked up and ate it. C dies. Here A is guilty of which offense? A is guilty of which offense? First one to answer correctly. Okay, Shubhi, first one to answer correctly. Followed by Amit and Kanchan. Yes, A is the correct answer. Ravi and Nisha, please do correct yourself. C is not the correct answer. How it is an exception of murder? Yes. Which exception you are thinking of, by the way? I'm really curious, by the way. Yes, please. Nisha or Ravi. Suresh, it's the correct answer is culpable homicide amounting to murder. It's a case of murder because of section 301, by the way. There is a role of section 301 as well. And because of that, the punishment Mr. A will get is of the murder. Okay, ji. Next. Chali. Point out where actual commission of an offense cannot be punished. You must have gone through that concept, the stages of crime. First one is intention. Second one is preparation. Third one is attempt. Fourth one is the commission or the accomplishment, right? So is, is there any offense of whose commission of an offense cannot be punished? Aditi, what is the difference between section 299 and 300? This is a question of law. Okay. This is a question of law. Only section 299 and 300 can tell you what is the difference. But whether, but whether it is a case of section 301 or not, the only facts can tell. Okay. Ji. Chali, everyone's answer is correct, starting from Shubhi, Amit and Arun. Chalo, sabhi ka D hi hai. No one has committed mistake. Yes. The, okay, by the way, na, okay, let me, let me tell you this as well. By the way, if you think critically, the question itself is wrong. Why? Can anyone tell me? Yes. Yes, can anyone tell me why this question is wrong? Come on. I can expect the answer. It's not that difficult. Wonderful. Super impressed. Mr. Arun Meena. Bahut badiya ji. Bahut badiya. Aapke concepts kaafi achche hain. Chaliye. Good luck to you. The answer is very very simple students. The question is which the commission of offense cannot be punished it means you are saying that suicide is an offense but the suicide is never an offense only attempt to suicide is an offense under section 309 and why suicide is not an offense because of obvious reasons so that way you can you know debate but yes as far as your exams are concerned the correct answer is d obviously because the most appropriate is the d in comparison to all other options next one a with the intention of causing the death of a child b who is below 12 years exposes him in a desert place here a will be liable under section Top three students to answer correctly. Amit followed by Arun and Minu. Yes. D is the correct answer. Tariq Khan, please do correct yourself. C, 307. There is a specific section, Tariq. You may refer section 317 and you will get the answer. Okay. So there is a specific section on this. Okay. 
अप्रजिता प्लीज डू चेक थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन आफ्टर द क्लास ठीक है जी सेम टू यू गो ग्रीन एज वेल ठीक है जिन्होंने भी सी आंसर किया है प्लीज डू चेक सेक्शन थ्री सेवेंटीन इट्स अ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन बाय द वे नेक्स्ट दिस वन इज इंटरेस्टिंग Yes, Ayush. The correct answer is D for question number thirteen. And a humble request to all of you: please, before writing the answer, do mention question number. For example, question number four, numeric fourteen, and then whatever your answer is, A, B, C, or D. Top three students to answer correctly. Wow! The first three answers, everyone answer is different. So interesting question. Okay, top three students to answer correctly. Question number fourteen. Uh, Arun followed by followed by followed by Minu only and Kanchan and Go Green. Yes, B is the correct answer. Why so? Now listen carefully. A attacks B, okay, to disfigure his face permanently. Okay, fine. A could not do so. वो करना चाहता था, लेकिन कर नहीं पाया. But causes B severely body pain for ten days only. It must be twenty, at least minimum twenty for causing voluntarily causing grievous hurt. Right. So A commits the offence of. So. This will fall under voluntarily causing hurt. ठीक है? For the sake of debate, for the sake of debate, you may say why not A as well. But the again the correct answer is going to be the more appropriate answer is going to be B. ठीक है? But there is no case of C or D. Okay, I have one more question to ask. Uh, you tell me whether section three nineteen and three twenty, three nineteen and three twenty. Are these offences under IPC? Please tell me. Section three nineteen and section three twenty. Whether these are offences or not? First one to answer correctly, Arun followed by Divi and Aprajita. Yes, the correct answer is no. These are not offences. The offences are voluntarily causing grievous hurt. Voluntarily causing hurt. They actually define the term. What is hurt? What is grievous hurt? That the offences are voluntarily causing hurt. Voluntarily causing grievous hurt. Next, this one is easy. A has knocked down two teeth of B. A has committed the offence of. Top three students to answer correctly: Amit followed by Arun and Aprajita. Everyone's answer is correct, I guess. Divi, Suresh, no. How can you write B? Please go through with section three twenty. There is a list that has been given of eight pointers, and you will find teeth is one of them. So this is basically causing grievous hurt. Okay. Please do read section three twenty. Sending friend request again and again by making new IDs after one ID blo is blocked is committing the offence of. बताइए जी कौन सा offence हो रहा है यहाँ पे? Which offence is taking place? This is basically sending friend request on social networking websites, right? Okay, top three students to answer correctly: uh, Kanchan followed by Arun and Aditi. I think everyone's answer is correct. Simple enough. Yes, this is a simple case of stalking.
दिस क्वेश्चन माइट लुक इजी टू यू बट ट्रस्ट मी यूजली स्टूडेंट्स गॉट कंफ्यूज इन द एग्जामिनेशन बिटवीन द एज ऑफ द मेल एंड द फीमेल यूजली टॉप थ्री स्टूडेंट्स टू आंसर करेक्टली सुरेश फॉलोड बाय Okay, let me see who has answered correctly. Uh, top three students to answer correctly: Arun, followed by Amit, and Nisha. Okay, ji. A is the correct answer. A is the correct answer. Okay. It's from the famous landmark judgment. consensual sexual relationship between two adult homosexuals heterosexuals or lesbians is no more an offense under section 377 the landmark judgment arun followed by nisha and ayush top 3 students to answer correctly A is the correct answer. Navdeep Singh Johar versus Union of India. Uh, student, I have one more question. Section three seventy seven is partial unconstitutional or completely unconstitutional? What is the current status of section three seventy seven IPC? It's partial unconstitutional or completely unconstitutional? Do write in the comments. Aprajita, first one to answer, followed by Vini and Ayush. Yes. partial that's it the subject matter of theft can be correct tarik टॉप थ्री स्टूडेंट्स टू आंसर करेक्टली नाइनटीन अरुण अप्रजिता एंड कंचन आयुष यू हैव आंसर्ड बी नो 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 थेफ्ट कैन बी टेकन प्लेस ओनली ऑफ मूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी यू कैन नॉट कमिट थेफ्ट अगेंस्ट अ हाउस राइट और बेसिकली any kind of a particular land immovable property by the way there can be one interesting question if you are following the all these updates about civil engineering and that is uh, that now yes technology there is technology available where where you can move a particular house from one place to another there are many examples i don't remember the name of the movie but there was movie as well of mr arjun kapoor in relation to that in that case if you know examiner is asking you something like that ki what if you know even a house can be you know move from one place to another place can that house be subjected to theft and the answer is yes why not why not right chaliye ji next Yes, Aprajita. Yes, showrooms are also built on these bases. Top three students to answer correctly. Should be followed by Arun and Aprajita. Everyone's answer is correct. That is A. Yes. No offense. Why? Because it was with consent. So why theft? minimum number of person to commit offense under section 390 uh 
अरे ऐसे कैसे बाय द वे दिस इज माय क्वेश्चन दिस इज नॉट वन ऑफ योर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड आई हैव नॉट रिसीव द करेक्ट आंसर टिल नाउ एंड फाइनली नाउ आई हैव रिसीव द करेक्ट आंसर शुभी अमित एंड अप्रजिता टॉप थ्री टू आंसर करेक्टली जिन्होंने गलती की है पता लग गया है क्या गलती है When it comes to offence of robbery, what is 390? Section 390 is robbery. Can one person commit robbery? The answer is yes. Even one person can commit robbery. So the minimum number of person to commit this offence robbery is one. You don't require. You don't need two persons to commit the offence of robbery, right? चलिए आई होप नाउ यू विल कीप रिमेंबर दिस फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ हां जी वेन ऑब्वियसली वेन इट कम्स टू थ्री नाइनटी वन फॉर द कैथी यू नीड मिनिमम फाइव That's an easy one. The direct question making preparation to commit dakati is punishable. Yes, under section three ninety nine. A prepares a mark sheet with an intention to use it as original to secure a job. A has committed the offence of. top 3 students to answer correctly amit followed by ayush and aditi yes everyone's answer i guess is correct yes everyone's answer is correct simple one students it's a clear case of forgery done the supreme court in the case of dash struck down section 497 of IPC as unconstitutional. बताइए जी 497 कौन से केस में स्ट्रक डाउन किया गया है? This is none of the above, by the way. Spelling mistake here. This is none of the above. Top three students to answer correctly. Yes, everyone's answer is correct, starting from Minu. Aprajita and Amit. Yes, B is the correct answer. Okay, 497 has been completely struck down or partial struck down. 497 is completely struck down or partial struck down. First one to answer correctly, Smarty Jagga. followed by kanchan and amit yes completely okay whether uh, whether you can take uh, whether adult, you can use adultery as a ground for divorce or not you can use adultery as a ground of divorce or not okay it's a ground it's a, it's still a valid ground for divorce yes the answer is correct the answer is correct and even wife cannot claim uh, this maintenance as well if she has been involved in adultery next cruelty under section 498a includes yes correct answer gogri 25 amit followed by nisha and ayush top 3 students to answer correctly yes c is the correct answer ji mental and physical both 498a includes both the cruelties like for example if a husband is passing a statement on a regular basis uh, that he want a uh, uh, dowry so that also you know if he is not doing it anything physical he is not doing any physical harm but still it will fall under mental cruelty Okay, and the physical, obviously, you you know when you 
get physical domestic violence and everything that will fall under physical cruelty so the answer is both a and b what is the punishment under section 498a Twenty six Panchan followed by Shubhi and Amit. Okay, everyone's answer is correct. Okay, let me let me ask one more question from four ninety eight. Eh? Can husband use section four ninety eight A against his wife? Yes, please. Can husband use section four ninety eight A against his wife? Answer. Top three students to answer correctly: Gurchan, uh, followed by Amit and Aprajita. Yes, the answer is no. This is something which is exclusively available for wife. A Hindu husband converting to Islam and marrying again will be guilty of bigamy. It was held in which of the following case? This is not footing case. Following case. Spelling mistake. Yes. Top three students to answer correctly: Amit followed by Aprajita and Shubhi. Yes, everyone's answer is correct. That is B. Defamation is Top three students to answer correctly: Kanchan, Aprajita, and Nisha. Everyone's answer is correct. Amit, how can you write A? C is the correct answer. Smarty Jagga, A is not the correct answer. Done. Now I have one more interesting question in relation to this. See, now you all know that when it comes to defamation, that falls under law of torts as well, and that falls under IPC as well. Can you give me one more example? like defamation where a party may take civil action as well and the uh, criminal proceed initiate criminal proceedings as well one more example i want like defamation One ninety nine. Where did it go? Okay, one ninety nine. Okay, now I got it. CRPC gave one ninety nine. Malicious prosecution. Okay, Ayush. What else? Malicious prosecution. Yes, that will fall under IPC as well, and that will fall under. Can you recall the section number, Ayush? Amit, I am repeating my my question. Can you tell me one particular concept that will fall under law of torts as well? You can take civil action as well, and in IPC as well, you can take uh, you can initiate criminal proceedings as well. बहुत बढ़िया. That was the, actually that is the concept which I was waiting for. Aprajita, yes, correct one. Assault. Assault is also fall under IPC as well, and this one as well. Law of uh, torts as well. ठीक है जी. so assault and defamation they they do have the common concept which of the following case upheld the constitutionality of section 499 and 500 of ipc
uh, go green amit and shubhi top 3 students to answer correctly everyone's answer is correct that is a subramanian swami versus union of india minimum duration of imprisonment provided for an offence under ipc is under section sabse kam term ki imprisonment kaun se section mein given hai Top three students to answer correctly: Aprajita, followed by Nisha and Aditi. I guess everyone's answer is correct. Yes, that is for twenty-four hours and ten rupees of fine. Last question. Last question. Last, last, last for the day. Attempt to commit any offence is punishable with dash term of imprisonment provided for the offence. This is basically as per to section five hundred and eleven. Top three students to answer correctly: Shubhi, followed by Amit and Nisha. Yes, D is the correct answer. That is one half. Okay, under section five hundred and eleven. So that's it from my end. Anything else? Anything else before concluding the class? So this is the link of my profile. Students, make sure you follow that to get all the updates about my special classes and my plus courses. This is the link of my Telegram channel where you can connect with me, and this is my code Khatri One Zero. Let's crack PCSJ with an academy. Students, this is the last day. The offer was from September twenty sixth till thirty. Today, today is the last day when you can get twenty percent off on all the subscription. Usually, you get only ten percent, but now for whether it is a plus course or whether it is an iconic course, from twenty four months, eighteen months, twelve months, or nine months, similar in iconic courses, you can get twenty percent off on all the subscription. ठीक है जी. Anything else which is not clear to you before concluding the session, you may ask. Uh, thank you very much for all the kind comments. That really means a lot. Uh, you all are welcome. चलिए जी. Uh, this is the result uh, from an academy uh, of Rajasthan Judicial Services examination. There's a comprehensive judiciary uh, evening batch which has been started recently from September twenty nine. Uh, you may attempt this mock test on September thirty twelve pm. Uh, an academy has also introduced an academy light for judiciary where you can actually practice uh, for your pt examination this is punjab prelims crash course batch recently started from september 22 this is mp adp or rapid revision batch recently started from september 15 there are free special classes available every day on an academy these are the special class features uh, this is an academy iconic all the features this is the pricing plan usually you get 10% but today is the last day where you can enjoy 20% on all the plus subscription and iconic subscription this is the youtube and the telegram channel of an academy and that's it from my end see you in my next class till then yes it's time to say peace